Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for July 10th to the 16th. This is for Scorpio Sun and Rising and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides. I'll bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading, Scorpio. I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one-on-one -on -one, rather than a general spread. Lastly, Scorpio, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your readings. Now, Scorpio, this is going to be a week, okay? This is going to be a week. Uh, your ruling planet is being really naughty. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, first things first, what happened for you last week? We had that full moon in Capricorn, all right? And it was a pretty intense full moon, and you can still feel it. You'll probably still feel it. It was in your third house, okay? That rules communication. Uh, it rules neighbors, if you have siblings, aunts, cousins. Uh, even short distance travel, there could have been some traveling that uh, y'all were planning or maybe even went on uh, short distance trips. But uh, what's really interesting is that, again, your ruling planet's at play on Monday. Now, Mercury is opposing Pluto on Monday. And so this is definitely going to affect you, all right? The fact that uh, Pluto is in Capricorn in your third house of communication, Mercury, the messenger, the planet of communication opposing your ruling planet. Keep in mind, Monday could be a day where there's going to be some words exchanged. Um... Uh, it could be, uh, I'm not going to lie, secrets could come out. It's We're talking about the 8th house here. 8th eight, house, okay? You rule the 8th house. Secrets could come out. There could be uh, a secret that you hear about. Uh, there could be some disputes, arguments, not seeing eye to eye. Uh, it could also be a moment where you have uh been holding something in for a long time all right and it comes out at this time like you just can't hold it in anymore it could be the same with someone else right uh this is a day where like nobody's budging okay if you are in a situation a challenging situation i've been making the analogy think of like darth vader having a staring contest with another darth vader like no like it's it's like intense okay uh but it is a day where uh you know there could be some things that just backfire so I just want you to be aware of that. Just be aware of always having your gratitude high. Always really, really, really being aware of, uh, well, especially this day, just being aware of like what you say. You don't want things to backfire. You don't want to regret anything, having said anything. Uh, this is just definitely going to be one of those, uh, one of those days. So uh, think about the amazing things that are happening for you, okay? The amazing things that are in store for you, all right? So uh, just keep your energy levels high. Now, the reason why this may also just be um, a pretty, pretty, uh, so the argument could be with someone at work it could be a neighbor it could be a family member but it you know it could also be a friend because what's happening is that on the 11th the day after mars uh which actually rules you too right so um mars is going into uh virgo so this is very think about mars like ambition drive go 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 right moving into virgo which is very detail oriented very goal oriented right so this is kind of like you moving forward right you moving forward in this area of your life now this is really interesting because this is in your 11th house the 11th house is your social network organizations you belong to groups you belong to all right even uh uh like social media so you it's like it like you could tweet something that you're like Oh shoot, you get like backlash on or whatever. Um, but it's also your hopes and wishes. So it's really, really now taking your everything that you're passionate about, like almost like a, f a what is it, fine tooth. Uh, it's being a lot more like uh, 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 taking it to like a perfectionist level if you think about like you know the qualities of, Vir uh, of, of Virgo but just really having the eye uh, for details and in, in, it, it also uh, seeing things that you may have overlooked uh, w moving forward okay um, it's especially because we are in a month of retrogrades all right and Pluto your ruling planet is, is retrograde and like I said in your monthly forecast
forecast, it's really like lifting the curtain. It's like open so you can see a little bit clearer in terms of your path forward. All right. And so uh, this is really aligning with that. Just, you know, Mars moving into Virgo. Now, the same thing. Uh, another thing that's happening is that Mercury is moving into Leo that same day. This is really fiery. This is super fiery. Now, we already know Venus is in Leo, okay? It hasn't retrograded yet. Venus is in Leo. Mars is definitely, Mars is now out, okay? Because Mars is now in Virgo. But now Mercury is going into Leo. And so this is in your 10th house of career, public achievement, fame, recognition, honors, all of that, all of that. So Mercury in Leo is no holding back. This is I have something to say and I am going to be heard. That is what Mercury and Leo is. It really is just being more authoritative, being a lot more straightforward in the way that you communicate, it, communicating the things that you need, uh, being more powerful, really speaking from the heart to being very passionate about the way you speak. But it's really, honestly, it uh, can be a little dramatic, I'm not going to lie, but uh, especially with what's happening uh, this week, just looking at like uh, what's going on this week. But it really is just like, I need to I need to let it be known all right being loud and clear all right so uh, again a lot of this is gonna rate resonate in your 10th house career uh, just you know uh, uh, how you're perceived in public uh, and honors achievements all of that okay now uh, of course this is gonna affect Scorpio rising a lot more than Scorpios but all Scorpios are gonna feel it now at the end of the week though it's almost like if you make it through this week <laughs> you get to Friday which is the Sun sextile in Uranus which is absolutely amazing I love this for you um, this is a day of surprises wonderful surprises things that you just did not see coming so really great things could happen this day and remember Uranus is actually in Taurus uh, so it actually could be something that happens to do with um, your partners okay your loved ones or someone at work uh, it could be like work related or it can be home like domestic related in terms of love like your partners and you know uh your true loves um and it could even be like a surprise like they surprise you on like a a, a visit uh or sorry like a big trip like a big trip somewhere uh because you know the sun it, we are in cancer season all right and that is in your ninth house and it does rule you know long distance travel it also rules publishing so something in, in terms of that but also spirituality so something that could just really make you feel just like really soulful too so i love this aspect on friday like the best day of the week astrologically uh but yeah this is definitely going to be a week every sign that i've done so far very different every sign is having a very different week but the fact that pluto is your ruling planet and pluto is being naughty uh let's uh it, it could you know you could have a a, a bigger impact okay uh, uh, for this week. So let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for July 10th to the 16th. Again, this is for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising. And if you want to read for your Moon, your Venus, any of those other placements, you are absolutely welcome to. So, Scorpio, that said, let's do it. All right. So, like I said earlier, Scorpio, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. Really gives the best overview. If we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Secondly, Scorpio, I love you. You're amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I would not be here without you. So, I really do appreciate it. And I'm truly grateful that you're here and you know that I love you. I say it all the time. Squ I so like, oh gosh, y'all are my, I love Scorpios. Um, now hey look at this it is gonna be a week okay it is gonna be a week uh i always say that y'all are so intuitive and i i hope you know that all right so uh i really really want you to tap into your intuition this week and trust your intuition when you have a stronger connection to your intuition you're just happier okay you're happier you make better decisions sounder judgments you uh you you know uh, have less anxiety you just feel happier right um you you know it's like i always say like 95 90 to 95 percent of your endorphins 
are produced in your gut. So always go go with your gut instincts this week, especially looking at your spread. All right, now you got the King of Cups. I love this. I love this. So things have been good, Scorpio. And think about your last readings, uh, especially coming out of eclipse season from uh, what was happening for you last year. Oh my goodness, such a big turnaround, right? Things have been really good. And there you go, King of Cups, who is Scorpio. All right. Uh, what's really interesting is that he is, you know how I say that you're so very intuitive? He is the most intuitive king. He's like to a psychic level and he's so loving. He has so much love to give. All right. He leads with his heart. He leads with his heart. You also see him, his throne on top of water. Okay. You are a water sign. Now, look how turbulent the water is. Nothing's going to knock him off that throne. He's mastered his emotions nothing's going to knock him off that throne all right so uh love this it came in your past all right so you're moving into this week with a lot of love to give having a lot of self-love as well just really being intuitive really being intuitive about what happens anything that may happen this week now speaking of intuition you got the moon in the heart of your spread you got the moon in the heart of your spread. Um, this is very, very interesting because when I talked about that intuition earlier, really, really do trust your intuition. Really do uh, have those moments, okay? Have those moments uh, to just be uh, really self-aware in the moment, right? That's what enlightenment is, right? It's in the moment. It's in the now. And so always have that. Always be aware in the moment. Now, the moon ruled by Pisces, okay, in tarot. The moon is uh, a such. Of, well, first of all, the reason I mentioned that is because Saturn did move into Pisces in your fifth house, all right. So there could be a lot of. Uh, you're taking a lot of uh, uh, what's bringing you fun, what's bringing you pleasure, a lot more seriously for the next few years, okay. And that does also include you're taking love more seriously, you're taking uh, family more seriously, you're taking your creativity, your self-expression all of that a lot more seriously now okay now the moon coming up in the heart of your spread this is kind of like the theme of the week really trust your intuition really let the moon guide you really let the moon guide you okay this is uh you know the moon has uh it's really associated if you trace the moon all the way back to its etymological root right it's uh we're going way 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 back all right so it's luna okay goddess of the moon it's why we have like lunar phases, uh, lunar landings, if they still happen. Uh, but if you keep going through, uh, 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 like, you know, medieval times, it changed, like it evolved to lunacy. Okay. So you see the full moon here. We go a little crazy over that full moon, right? Uh, full moons affect ocean tides. It affects dogs. It affects people's, uh, people's emotions. Uh, so this is having like a really strong effect on you emotionally this week. You may feel a little bit emotional, but I want you to know it's important to have these emotional experiences. All right. Because you evolve, right? I say it all the time. We were, we, it's a reason why we weren't built as robots. Okay. We were built as human beings that have a range of emotions to feel okay to feel even those low energy frequencies we're all human right There's, it's okay to feel um, fear and distress and anxiety everything that's associated with the moon you just don't want to be stuck there okay you want to feel it you want to learn from it you want to grow from it you want to become a better version of yourself use it to empower yourself now you see the dog and the wolf you really really they re it represents evolution you really have to go through these emotional experiences to evolve okay so it's really like uh the big message is like if there is something that happens this week don't let fear dominate you remember pluto your ruling planets all about power and it's asking you pluto asks you are you going to fear me are you going to own me, right? You want to own it. You want to own your fears. That's what this is. You're that little crayfish. You got to go through those towers. You got to go through those towers. You got to face your fears. Uh, so it really is, again, trusting your intuition and feeling empowered in any emotional experience that you have this week. 
use it to empower yourself now you did get the knight of pentacles in your challenge area all right so there is a sense of uh really a potential of just kind of like uh like a lack of inspiration and i don't want you to have that and it's almost like giving up energy and i don't want you to have that either i want you to keep going okay so there could be something significant that happens this week that will make you feel like oh gosh and it makes you go inward and uh it makes you kind of want to like throw in the towel i don't want you to do that okay the knight of pentacles he's all about these long-term commitments he's all about like in it to win it energy came up in your challenge area so whatever happens emotionally go within that's what's really going to empower you okay you even see the hermit's face here in the moon okay all about that soul searching uh which is very interesting because the hermit is ruled by virgo all right and knight of pentacles is virgo all right so remember uh this is a big thing for you all right mars moving into virgo is a big thing all right especially it's for you because remember what i said that's your 11th house of your hopes and wishes okay even uh organizations you belong to your friendship so could be uh, a little tussle with a friend as well uh, during the Mercury Pluto uh, opposition. And remember, that is just a point in time. That's a marker in time, okay? So that's happening on Monday, but you could feel it the day before. You could feel it the day after. You could feel it uh, two days before. I mean, it's really, you know, again, every Scorpio is very different. Now, you got the Two of Cups, all right? I absolutely love this for you. Two of Cups in your crown. And then you also have the Knight of Wands here in the root of your spread. So uh, a lot of passion here, all right? A lot of passion, uh, especially with the Two of Cups. This is the true love card, right? In layman's terms, the soulmate card, the uh, 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 twi uh, true love, twin flame. Um, this, remember, Jupiter and Taurus and Uranus and Taurus and your seventh house of partnerships. This is two becoming one. This is love transcending time and space itself. Now, if you're not here for love, this is also career, partnerships and career. If you're not here for career, self-love, all right? You see the caduceus here, medical symbol, like healing, okay? But it's also, if you're into yoga, you know, it's like the kundalini. kundalini. It's that like life force, that driving life force from like the base of your, your spine, like all through your seven chakras to like divinity i love this okay so partnerships are definitely on your mind um and also that self-love okay for a lot of scorpios and it is something uh this week you could meet someone new if you're not in a relationship if you're in a relationship you could be wanting to take it to the next level or it could deepen in some way all right again this is uh you're reading scorpio so you take what resonates with you all right because again every scorpio is different every scorpio di is different but know that love uh cups are love okay there it's it's emotions it's feelings wonderment it's intuition it's all of that. It's in your crown now the knight of wands wow that's like blazing forward like nothing can stop him now look at his horse like reared up right ready to go this is not gonna stop uh and then wands it's uh, you know creativity uh it's your passions it's just nothing it's like ready to go ready to go very transformative energy it's really like hey remember what i said with mercury and leo and venus and leo in your 10th house a lot of that's going to resonate uh with in terms of like passions right uh but it's also just transformative in general for y'all okay it's double fire nights are fire ones are fire this is very fiery just like what is that phrase putting fire under the feet I love that for you. And so all this is happening and it's like you, there's a sense of you that just, all you want to do is just pursue your passions. All you want to do is go for it. And so this may even like empower you if there is a situation or a challenge. And again, even spiritually, if you have a moment spiritually, intuitively, it may just really empower you because you have this big vision. Okay. Now, you got the four of cups in your future so this is saying that keep your gratitude high i call this card uh it's a um like a test 
is what it is okay this is testing your gratitude you see the young man the you first of all they had a spirit offering the young man a cup okay now he already has three cups but look at his reaction his arms are crossed crossing off his heart all right now one thing i'm going to point out you only see the hand of spirit in the aces that's how significant this card is that's how it's testing your gratitude he can see the cup this is no illusion here it's it's at eye level he can see that cup yet he is still so there is going to be something this is in your future something that happens here that the potential of you uh, just not being grateful about something that happens uh, and even like a sense of rejection, like rejecting something that could come up this week uh, it, uh, could be even uh, it, it really could be something that has to do with love. Uh, but it's almost like something's off course or there's like a disconnect uh, uh, that could happen this week but as long as you trust your intuition as long as you really really think about you know the things that you're going to say uh and the way that you are going to communicate and how you're going to put all that energy into your passions moving forward uh in this way that empowers you and it's like a power of good you'll be fine just you know there's also uh with this card it's associated with boredom and so there could be something that happens uh based on this situation where it's just like uh <laughs> for some scorpios it's just like oh uh, right but again it's just testing your gratitude okay it's just asking you um are you going to have this reaction are you going to be uh unsatisfied or ungrateful are you going to uh if something does come through where you're not satisfied or it makes you feel like this sucks to be honest are you going to hold on to that energy or are you going to go the other energy with gratitude and say this sucks but i'm very appreciative that this happened i learned from it i'm appreciative of the fact that i have opportunities some people out there don't even get opportunities i'm appreciative of the fact that i have a roof over my head i have do you know what i mean like it's this it's, it's testing your gratitude and we'll even clarify it if, if you're it, yeah once that happens you you it looks like it's gonna be some work it's i'm not gonna lie with the moon four cups and the ten of wands uh, it's almost like a little bit of burdens coming with this too. All right. So whatever happens this week, again, something that may be testing your gratitude, uh, could feel also burdensome as well. It's almost like, remember what I said from the very beginning, it's like two Darth Vader's having a staring contest. Uh, it's almost like I'm not going to let this other person win, but that's also draining my energy and it's making me lose focus remember you got the knight of pentacles in your challenge area now you got the ten of wands where he can't even see where he's going okay now uh it's all about putting those laying those wands down ten is the end of the suit so eventually you will but you really have to again uh, just reading the cards here have that gratitude, really trust your intuition, really know the direction you want to go, really don't let anything put you off course, and then you'll be fine because 10 is the end, one zero equals one. So it come, a new beginning comes from this and you want to lay those ones down and we'll even pull another clarifier and there you go. So you have that gratitude, you trust your intuition, you uh, 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 be the better person in any situation that may happen. You got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? It's glorious, glorious, all right? It's raining pentacles. You see that in the form of the Tree of Life. This is the card. It's the You Made It card, okay? So all that burden, all of this will be worth it as long as you learn from it, as long as you become a better version of yourself, as long as you have that appreciation and that gratitude. Gratitude is the strongest vibration in the law of attraction. And if you need to, um, 
Uh, have some more purple in your life. I know that sounds weird, but wear purple, but get a purple crystal. Um, when I say purple, more violet, okay? Because think about that, you know, violet is the, uh, you know, it is a color of the crown chakra, uh, which is spiritual awareness. But, it, but violet has the shortest wavelength, and so it has the highest energy. Okay, so um, I have I have all over, like, it, it, it'll help. It'll help. I actually always have, I, well, I mean, this is a clear crystal, but you can also, I mean, anyway, I'm, that's just something, if you want, if you want, just bring a little bit more violet in your life. But um, again, hey, you're going to be good. You're fine. As long as you, everything that I just said, okay? Everything I said, this is prosperity success this is you moving into this next uh like it's ending this chapter right it's ending this cycle on a very good note right money wealth wealth in all areas of your life look how big that castle is look how happy that family is okay remember that i said there is a lot of that activity happening for you this week uh it, you see the three generations at play here the old man again the couple and the dog and the child all right and then this really truly is cycle 10 10 is the end you're entering a new cycle but i'm going to show you here you can see the child his hand is on the dog's tail you see the old man that's actually the hermit with the you know hermit's face here uh this hand on on the dog's head so cycle here as well uh you're good as long as you do everything that i just said oh gosh i know this reading is going so long so let's keep going scorpio you're amazing let's see what's going on let's go to your stuff if you like this reading by the way it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments i love hearing from y'all and if you are a subscriber thanks so much for um being here y'all are amazing um i and hey if you thank you so much if you signed up as a member i know listen i YouTube tells me to talk about it in the channel so um, and it really does help um, I don't know if you saw the video I made I do have a full-time job I'm not a full-time youtuber I have a full-time office job it's like nine to six so I do your readings every uh, week and that's like uh, the hours add up so it really does help out if uh, any support it as in the members would be uh really really it would definitely be uh very meaningful for me so i really appreciate it it's that join button you can see it right there it's right there you just click it it's like two bucks for the first tier so um anyway uh there's my thing for that so uh yeah scorpio i really want to go in depth here but what time is it oh my goodness okay so let me give you okay let me tell you what's going to happen here <laughs> you got the hierophant okay when i talk about that spiritual like mm, like going within remember i said we're in cancer season still okay so a lot of y'all are probably already feeling it okay now because that is your ninth house of spirituality now you got the hierophant all right so what's really interesting is not only is that happening the hierophant is ruled by Taurus. this card is ruled by uh taurus and so as we know jupiter and uranus are in taurus in your seventh house okay and so looking at your spread here which is very interesting some of y'all are actually thinking about marriage like getting married taking your relationship to the next level but marriage energy for sure wow and so that could actually be a thing that could be a thing uh uh a little bit of fear about it like because that is a big life change uh but you have the ten of pentacles in your future look at what's in the your final outcome you're fine now again the hierophant this is all about uh you know he is the greek priest right hero eros okay holy sacred font comes from finan which is to spread to reveal you actually see this is the first card in the major arcana where other people appear other than the main figure so when you have that deep sacred knowledge within you you spread it there's a lot of like structure and tradition that's involved with this card as well uh it's really like at this point um you know 
there is a sense of like departing from the unknown um and de- or sorry departing from the known departing from the things that you're used to departing from traditions uh this is someone that brings it for this week uh i want you to just have a really good balance okay i want you to have a really good balance but it really again going within is going to bring all that uh just you trusting yourself trusting the situation trusting that you you're good right that you're good you even see the two uh gray columns here the gray in tarot's wisdom so this is hey you're you're gonna be good okay you're gonna be fine just go within you also got the seven of pentacles all right you got the seven of pentacles in your external factors area y'all are definitely this is a week where you may have to make some sort of decision some of y'all are going to be really proud of yourselves about how far you've come and i want you to be i want you to be very proud like i said in the beginning of the reading think about where you were uh a year ago think about where you are now be very very proud of yourself very proud of yourself i know that it hasn't been easy for scorpios especially with you know all those eclipses in your sign and, and it, it, there's so much happening but be very proud of how far you've come now this is the time to think about uh and you're probably doing it this week about the next step moving forward okay again a lot of it looks like marriage a lot of it looks like family related stuff home related stuff okay there's a lot of that happening um also career for sure 1000 percent. okay uh thinking about that uh uh, uh, in your life and then with Pluto like even investments too uh, is coming up but just really have that moment to trust yourself in moving forward the decision that you're going to make moving forward and don't be frustrated if things aren't happening fast enough because you're going to be fine okay you're going to be fine now you got the queen of cups all right i love it you got the pair here you got the king and the queen i love it the difference between the king and the queen's the queens, their uh, energies are more uh, internal, and the kings are external. So their powers are very different. They're used differently. The queen of pups, <laughs> queen of pups, the queen of cups. I uh, call her like the princess Diana of tarot. She's just so loving, right? Very maternal, also very intuitive, also very psychic. So a lot of that intuitive energy is coming through. Okay big time big time and remember how i said we're in cancer season and your ninth house is spirituality well queen of cups is cancer okay she's cancer and so again a lot of self-love that spiritual growth happening lastly you got justice okay hey there you go you got justice and and so this card has a huge attachment to karma uh, it's also uh, all about balance here, okay? This is all about balance. It's You can even see the card is very symmetrical, all right? And justice sits right in the middle, right in the middle of the, uh, of, of the, um, which, the major arcanas, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. There's a lot of power in this card, but karmically, all right? So using that sword, all right, to cut anything that you don't need in your life, all right? Use it especially when you have these moments okay even if it goes to a subconscious level anything that you don't need have those moments of resolution and move forward all right you even see the justice card very symmetrical but very similar to the magician right the hand the 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 hand gesture like that am i in the camera like that and so really like a lot of power there's a lot of power the magician has the power to manifest and justice ruled by libra has the power to bring balance to you know be very fair-minded and to if you're asking yourself this week am i doing the right thing especially you may question a lot that's happening with the moon in the heart of your spread you and especially what happens around uh monday okay uh you may be asking a lot of questions but use that sword cut anything you from your life you see that the judge has the scale bringing that balance okay um so hey there you go that is uh it's it's like you will be doing the right thing as long as you have these moments of intuition trusting your intuition raising your energy levels um also just 
uh, uh, that gratitude, raising your gratitude, but the fact that you, you know, clarified in your final outcome, you got the 10 of pentacles, the you made it card, moving into all this wealth and then justice in your final outcome, like justice will be served for you. Like this is karmic, like you've cashed in your karma points. All right, Scorpio. So, uh, you're going to have a week. You're going to have a week. I don't want you to lose any inspiration. I want you to be you. All right. I want you to be you really go with it and really trust your instincts. So with that said, Scorpio, thanks so much for tuning in again. If you like this reading, it'd be great. If you like subscribe, leave comments. Oh, also next week. Oh my goodness is the big week. Okay. It's the big week. We have that new moon in cancer, new beginnings. All right powerful new moon because there's so much happening around that new moon all right that new moon again and is in 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 your ninth house so you see activity around your spirituality your belief system even in school education learning new things uh publishing it are you writing a book are you writing a book scorpio or starting a website there i mean you could around this new moon so we'll talk about that and the lunar notes are changing next week so next week's a huge week Scorpio, thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. All right, bye-bye.